Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, from wherever you're watching from. It. Welcome back once again to Who's Your Daddy 6969. This is my channel. This is my aquaponics room. Haven't been updating any videos lately. I've been a little busy. Um, I've left this alone for the last week and a half. The only thing I've done is come down, check my filters, check my pumps, uh, make sure everything's flowing right, feed the fish. Uh, everything's working great, everything's growing. Let me show you a little bit here. The watermelon's taken over. She's doing excellent. Brussels sprouts. If you notice, I have a few missing. I'll show you why, what I've been doing for the last week. Uh, take you outside and show you my fantastic yard I have. It's actually a driveway. It's all I have. And it's used all week long for one of the people that rent in here. So, you know, I only get the driveway on the weekends. But I did a little customizing to it, so I'll show you in a, a little bit. But yeah, those are my bush beef steak tomatoes that I trimmed and was cut right down to nothing. Now look at them. All starting to flower. There's some flowers back there. There's some flowers up and through. These are all peppers. If you notice, there's a couple missing out of here too. Because I figured I'd transplant them outside. And let them see. And look at this. This is my dill. That is just simply amazing. <laughs> Sorry, that's kind of. But uh, yeah, cauliflower doing good. I put one of them outside. Brussels sprout. There's two of those outside. My asparagus. I've been cutting down every other day. I've been eating them. Uh, it doesn't take long for them to grow in this system. I'd say approximately uh, three or four days. And then I got a Brussels uh, asparagus. You know, they're doing pretty good. My strawberries in the tower, as you see, they're getting ready to start. The sweet peas, they're just going nuts. All up and over. Um, this was parsley. It was full. We cut it down. Harvested that. we got new shoots growing up. This white stuff, if you notice on my rocks, it's just hard water. The water, so the hydroton is doing really good in collecting up the hard water or any of the uh, other stuff in the water. Those are radishes in the back, lettuce, the big marigold. Uh, tomato missing out of there because I put them outside. I uh, put a couple lettuce outside yesterday to see how they're doing. These, remember, everything started from seeding here. My bean is doing pretty good. And of course, the roses, the flower bed. And then this gorgeous, cool looking flower. Everything's growing pretty good. That's the sunflower. Some green onions. Cucumbers are still there. So, yeah, and like I said, that flower there, the sweet pea it's called, the sweet pea flower. Doing pretty good. I get some outside. And of course, all the fishies. I added this filter in here. This just to help clean out the extra, you know, fish waste. Just help keep the tank a little clear. Other than that, the pipes and everything is doing excellent on the filtration system, as you can see. I just thought I'd throw in a little extra thing. They only that only pumps eight gallons, eighty gallons an hour, so it does a little extra filtering out for me. So let's uh, take his upstairs. I'll show you a quick. Oh, yes, the aloe. All the new little sprouts doing really well. As you can see, everything's doing great. Uh, and I'm liking the raft system, the whole setup. We're doing the seeding in it and growing. Everything's doing great. 
And this is approximately two months, I do believe, since I switched everything over to a complete raft system. Two months of everything growing. So I'll take you for a little tour of all my tricks. And you'll see and understand why I did it all inside. So yeah, I run a building, superintendent, property manager, or whatever you want to call the boss. But we're going outside of the building. My big bay windows. Hopefully we're going to have a fire. I'm going to build a big planter up in there. Okay, this is my gate. Start off with showing you my little sunflowers. I got gold and <laughs> some sweet tea. And uh, that's my yappy dog. And uh, this here, I made this little box. Yeah, some flowers I transferred from in the garden up there and up to in here. All under here is all hydro ton. This is all organic mix. We got a couple hanging baskets. So yeah, this is my big fantastic yard. The driveway is not mine, like I said. I get to use it on the weekend. Yoo hoo! Anyways. But yeah, I've done a little work out here in the last uh, week and a half or so. Some planter boxes, some new plants. You know, one of the pepper plants that transferred from downstairs up to here. My one Brussels sprout. We got a little broccoli from out in there out here. The little cauliflower. Uh, a little tomato. I'm going to take you over here to the other little box bench seat I built just to house some more uh, plants that I started downstairs. You know, I'll move this pepper plant out here. We got the other Brussels sprout. And then we got the two head lettuce in there. I planted some parsley down in here, watermelon over here. And we also got more strawberries part planted in here and romaine lettuce. The box is two, over two feet deep, six inches wide, should be plenty of room. Then we just cultivated a mini little corner garden. This, all these plants are from downstairs, all out of the raft system. And we're going to see how they take to being outside. And a little mixture of uh, clay and uh, organic soil we have. We'll get the deal going. That, I'm still not too sure what kind of plant it is, but she's uh, growing. That there is a bean. And that there another tomato, pepper. And this here is my squash. I started this downstairs doing the wrap system. Doing great. Started it from seed. So yeah, this is just a uh, a little bit, that's why I got the garden inside in, in the basement. So I thought I'd give you a quick little update. And this is what I've been doing outside. Thank you for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later. Catch you up.